All right, welcome back. You are watching uh, this exclusive interview with the leader of the IFP, Ingosu Mangosu Tuptilizi, who will be stepping down after leading Ingata Freedom Party for about 44 years now. Shenge, just before the break, we're talking about the history of the IFP and what led uh, to you forming the, the IFP. But I want us now to focus on the current state of the IFP uh, as a party. Uh, 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 on the current state now of the IFP as, as, as the party. At some point, Schenge, you the IFP was governing Wazuru Natal, uh, mm. but obviously yeah. they the, the changed. W where did it go wrong? Well, actually, it's a problem because unless I tell the story, you, you, it's not possible for you to get a, a whole picture. Because what happened then, after that meeting, Mr. Tambo said that we were going to meet, because in December the, N, the, the NEC of the uh, ANC was going to meet, and, and that he was going to come back to me. But sadly, he never came back to me. In June, on June 1980, the Secretary General, Mr. Alfred Nzo, launched his blistering attack on me in London and called me a, a political careerist and so on. And, and I was surprised, of course. And then, of course, after that, if I may put it, the sluice gates were opened because then I became a victim through Radio Freedom, through their publication, Sichaba. They even published a, a, a very defamatory book, which defames not only myself, but my whole family. Uh, Kaja, a chief with two agendas and so on. All that surprised me. But an, a, an important thing which I must mention is that Matiba's relationship with myself never broke. Yeah. Yeah. Because he communicated in 1989, he actually worried because when they came back, of course, the ANC imposed what they call a people's war. That's when there, there was this nasty black on black violence, which cost us more than 20,000 people who died. Then you come to the um, negotiations. You know, P.W. Porter suffered a stroke. And, and, and then, Mr. Wadikot, because I refused to see P.W. Porter mm. for five years. So Mr. Tiklak took over, then he invited me, he said, let's negotiate. So I said to him, let's put a, a committee together, looking at the factors that impede negotiations. So he chose a few of his ministers, I chose a few, including Rolly Arnstein, who who was a, a lawyer that the ANC used in Devon and was the longest brand person in South Africa. Mm. And we came out with a, a condition that, a non-negotiable condition, that we were prepared, I'm prepared to, we're prepared to join him on condition that Ms. Mandela and other political prisoners are returning and other, ex, those are in exile return. Mm. Fortunately, Mr. Clegg agreed to do that. Then we negotiated, even the negotiations were very difficult, you know. Because in 1989, Ms. Mandela wrote to me to say that as soon as he's out of jail, the two of us must meet mm. to try and, and, and address this shameful violence between our people. Mm. So indeed, when he was released, he phoned me, we're going to meet, but this meeting didn't take place. So Ms. Mandela visited the what was then Transkai in the Eastern Cape. When he got there, Amakosi, um, they asked him, have you and Michele met? Because they were all aware that he was my friend. We we're, we're, were close friends. All right. He said, no. They said, why? He said, UDF and leader of the ANC almost throttled me, all right. saying that I mustn't meet him. All right. So we didn't meet with Mr. Mandela, my friend, my leader too, until the 29th of January, 1991, almost a year after his release. Mm. Then we met in a hotel in Devon, with a big delegation of the ANC and the, and the IFP. And one of the resolutions we took was that from that time onwards, we we're going to have joint rallies of the ANC and the, uh, and the IFP. Mm. Mm. Then a few weeks after that, I was invited by, a, by IFP in Marysburg, in a place called Taylor's Hall, mm. to hold the rally. All right. So I contacted Madiba. I said, Madiba, here's an ideal situation, because you know a lot of violence took place in my respect. I said we should then start with our joint rallies. He agreed with alacrity. All right. So a few days before we were due to go there, Dr. Oscar Domo was my Secretary General of the party, of the uh, organization, it was not the party then, said to me, Matiba is no longer going there. 
So I phoned my diva. My diva, I hear you, we're no longer going together. He said, man, you don't know what happened. I said, what happened? He said, Mr. Harry Kuala, who was the leader of the Communist Party here and also of the ANC in the province, has come to Shell House, you remember, there was the headquarters of the ANC at the time, yeah. with a busload of all leaders of the ANC in the province to say, under no circumstances should, 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 should you agree to go there with me. You know, I'm a murderer, I should, they, shouldn't, they shouldn't go with me. In the meantime, people were dying on both sides. So, we're not to meet, you know. Then after that, various efforts were made. Three people on one side, ANC and ANC, 15 people uh, aside, 15 aside. They, all that didn't help. In 1999, Ms. Deba and I were invited by the people at Togoza. Because you know that a lot of people died at Togoza yeah. on both sides. So the people of Togoza, fortunately, ANC and IFE got together. They had erected a, 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 memorial, a, a memorial structure there. And they wanted Matiba and I to go there. But Matiba was very busy. So in October, and then they were, in October, I was then, after the election, Mr. Our, our president, uh, Ms. Tabombe, and I went to address, to, to attend this rally, which was a, an emotional thing, of course, mm -hmm. because people were crying on both sides. Right. I, I cannot, okay. uh, no, I remember right. it with great pain. All right. Shanga, so you. what happened then, then after that, we had a joint rally with the ANC, right. and it was supposed to be the first of many. Yeah. But, it, but, then, but, they, but it, it, no, it was the first and last. All right. Shange, thank you very much for that background. I would like us now to focus on the current uh, issues of affecting the IFP. One of them, of course, is the issue of the succession. Uh, the current Secretary General of the party is expected to take over from you. Yes. Uh, but also we've had reports that uh, the mm. former chairperson of the IFP, Dr. Zibajiane, mm. will be contesting the, 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 that position uh, do you welcome that contestation? I mean, I don't even regard, I think it's, it's nonsense, it's utter poppycock, if I may say. Because that, Mr. Gianni, Dr. Gianni has been to and fro, he has been in all organization years, he, he, he broke away from and for, for when he, leave, he left the country and became a member of the PAC, on his return to South Africa, he joined, he joined the IFP, you know. Then, then he, you know, worked in the party, then he left again, he started Nadeko. It was snatched from him by Reverend Howe Mbata. He found, then he had the other, other organization he started, it, 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 it fizzled, it also uh, collapsed. And he went to the, uh, to the uh, DA, and even there I heard that he wanted a position, and the DA said that they, they don't need like that. Mm. And then after that, he, 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 he has sent many people, pastors, he has sent two retired Anglican priests, Reverend Tom Bella and Reverend Bata, and sent another pastor who is a friend of ours, uh, Pastor Kennedy, Sam Kennedy to say he wants to come back. And he was told that he made some statements that there was no democracy in the in, in God and, and some very damaging statements. Mm. Then the, and he came to the NEC, we, we, we said to, the, to him that he must go back. I said to the NEC, I don't have, I have no problem Ms. Gianna coming, Dr. Gianna coming back. But the NEC then said no, but he needs to call a, a press conference like this. Mm. And, 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 and say all the things, the bad things that he said about the party and so on. Mm. Then it disappeared. Then he appeared again. Mm. Then he joined the ANC. What, what, what can you say about someone like that? Mm. Shanga, speaking if of... If my relative, I would, I would worry and, uh, and, uh, and suggest that his, his head should be red. Speaking of democracy within the, the party itself, there are many who have actually alluded to the fact that uh, your successor in Koso Ubabu Uvelenko Sen Tlabisa was actually handpicked by you. Uh, what would you say to I'm those? I'm glad that you asked me that question because it's a blatant lie. You know, it's an absolute lie. Uh, in this 
press conference. Well, I've got a member of the national of, of the any of the national council who was present because I said when it was actually to prepare for my succession, I said to our people, I said we we the the ANC the, which is a ruling party before they went to Nazareth, they have set an example for us. Anybody, I said this in the NEC, anyone who wants to stand up, I think should, should, should say so. No one stood up. And then the name of Mr. Bisa was suggested. Then I said, well, it's not enough. Let's call the, all the structures now, because our conference, you know, we, we had postponed it because the, the election was soon. We, all the structures of the party, all the branches, our general council, councillors, members of parliament, all of them met in, in, a, in a hotel in Devon. And I said, look, the ANC has, has set a very good democratic, uh, what you call, example, where both men and, and women who wanted to be leaders of the ANC and Nazareth came out at Nazareth and said so. It should be open. Why, why should we do it by stealth ourselves? No, deathly silence. No one came out. Then uh, another leader of the I, of the IFP. In fact, I can tell you it was Mr. Singh. Then proposed the name of of Mr. Chabisa said that you know we talked and 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 and, and so suggested that should we have a, ca a candidate, we proposed the name of of Mr. Chabisa, mm. and it was accepted by without any dissent. All right. And subsequent to that, there were other meetings of, of the all structures. Each time, they, they endorsed the name of God. But he was not handpicked hand by me. All right. But so because, you know, they want to portray me in a certain way, some in the media, you know, like, tell a lie. And because, you know, that during the war, I mean, before you were born, there was a, a, a propagandist that Hitler used by the name of Dr. Goebbels, who, who suggested that if you repeat a lie enough, it becomes the truth. Mm -hmm. So th these people in the media seem to follow that gospel. Shenge, we have about five minutes left before the oh. conversation ends. But I just want to uh, get your view on this. You are saying you are not expecting uh, Dr. G Gianni to contest this position. But is there anyone else? In, in, in fact, there was a very interesting article when the, the, our deputy chairman Ngong, explained the position that if one had defected, our constitution says that there should be a cooling period. You know, that, that for a year, if you have already defected, you cannot be you know, uh, then, uh, uh, elected to any position. It's, it's actually a rule in the, in the first place that blocks him without any other arguments. 44 years later, Schenge, do you perhaps have any regrets about taking on this role of leading the party for so long? No, I, I, I don't know. I think the people of South Africa, people of South Africa, would judge whether, in fact, it was worth my while. Because if there is any contribution I made, then it was through the Inkata, through the party. Because it was a vehicle I used to do whatever you know may, may be my contribution to to, the, to this country. Mm. Yeah. Obviously, we are expecting you to step down from the leadership role of the IFP, but you are still a member of parliament. Yes. Where to from here after stepping I down? I expect this, se this session is my last session. No. At the end of the session, uh, I, will not I will not come back to this. Hmm. What, 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 what is your wish for the IFP, Dr. Abtelis? But What is your wish for the IFP? Well, I wish for the IFP because it, it, it is for, the, for surviving with all the attacks, with people who have bags and bags of money and, and all kinds of dirty tricks that have been used and survived. It means that there are people, there are people in South Africa you know, who, who believe in the IFP and therefore, uh, actually, as I said, even the last election has shown that there is a significant you know, number of people in South Africa who still believe in it. And I, and I expect it you know, to, to actually... Um, Strengthen the branches and, and, and actually at grassroots to strengthen our, the party because it, it has a very big role to play. It has been proven in the 45, 44 years that you know it has a role to play in South Africa. It has made a contribution in the 45, 44 years in, the, in whatever has been done for the people of South Africa. There is a big footprint of the IFP. 
Dr. Psalis, we would like to take this opportunity to thank you very much for affording us this opportunity to talk to you, and uh, we wish you all the best going forward. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank that you. was the leader of the mm -hmm. IFP, Ngosu Mangosu Tupteleze, who is uh, stepping down from his uh, position as the leader of the IFP after 44 years at the helm of the IFP. The conference is currently uh, underway here in Ulundi, and we will be monitoring the developments there throughout the conference. But for now, let's throw back to Johannesburg.